Here it is. All right, Matt, let's get started on this thing. Uh, one of the first things you need to do is, uh, well, disconnect the battery. Mm -hmm. Kill this thing. Since I had it loose, you know. Uh, All right, so you see the, uh, the little plug right there? Uh, push push that over and disconnect it. This here? Yeah, so you push a little connector to the right. So it's and lift it up. It. Yep. Okay. And now the car's dead. Yep. Here is all the parts. And here is my parts list from Tesla. There's all the prices. And there's the total. So, yeah, we're gonna rebuild this front end and then that'll leave just the body panels left to put on. You know, the hood, the fenders, the bumper. Um, get those painted. Come on and we'll be done. Other than, uh, I still need to get the glass replaced by Tesla and the airbags put in. Still that'll be round three. Still can't believe they totaled this. Yeah, they shouldn't have. They shouldn't. Okay, so we got our little frame reinstalled here. End up using some self tappers. And that's our support for our front. And support for the wire harness. And the support for the, the uh, AC condenser and fan. Um, I went ahead and installed our crash cans on this side. And then that's going to show us how we put those in there. And that first uh, bolt size is what, a 15, I think? It is a 15. Yeah, 15, and the other one's an 18. And then two, two smaller bolts under the bottom. It's gonna get loud. Maybe we shouldn't use the impact. It's going to deafen everybody. No kidding. I'll mute that in the video, I guess. And then we slide this big crash can in. I actually had to give it a little nudge with a hammer just on the lip so it slides in easy. And you may have to pull it back some. And just finger tighten those, get them started. Jeez, I think you got it. And I think you got my hearing as well. All right, so next we'll be putting the uh, ankle catcher. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, she goes like this. And then, uh, so I gotta get the four bolts for that. And then right here, I'm pretty sure the AC condenser is gonna attach to all that housing and stuff, which is in our box. We're gonna get all that out and show you how that works. We're gonna assemble this uh, cooling fan and shroud and AC condenser and the uh, radiator. So this is the cooling fan and shroud here. Um, it's really neat how all this goes together. I kind of mocked it up first just so I can see everything goes. Um, you take the condenser and it actually get up close, Matt, where you can see where those go in. And they, they go down in here like this. You lay that down and over here, it literally just snaps in place. I think that's really cool. I might have to spread those out a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yep. And then, uh, 
radiator, I can't believe this is the radiator for the car, um, it goes in those little slots on this side also. And then it snaps over here. And then the active cooling shroud, it's got the little motor right here, or actuator. And we snap it on this side, I believe. And this side, it'll line it up. So push this down. Okay, let's snap together. Look at this, how this snaps together here. That's freaking awesome, huh? So that's it. And then I can put this in the car now. Let's go ahead and get back in. Got my hose hooked up, the AC line changed out. And slip this under here. Get it in the little mounts. And I'll lift it up just a little bit. Top and bottom, high pressure, low pressure line. This this line got got bent a little bit. Has it got a little bracket it goes on? There's a little channel it goes through. Oh, okay. I'm gonna catch that channel next. Probably got to bend it a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't even see that. Yeah. Yes, it's cocked a little bit too far. We have to bring it out a little bit. It just got okay, slightly bent bit. out of shape. Yeah. The other one was completely destroyed. destroyed. Yeah, we had to change it. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, she was gone. Yeah, I got it right here. Alright, while you do that, let me take this off so you can see the, right. the damage here. Oh shit, we got cool coming out. Oral coming out of this one. Yeah. That's yeah. what that one looked like. Good die at you. <laughs> I think it was destroyed. Are you, are you glowing now? Is your head glowing? I will if I got any on me. Ain't gonna hurt you. I got the alien blood on him. I hear you. Oh, Alright, so you're hooking up the AC and then... Did you hook up the uh, coolant line? Not yet, but it was kind of in the way, so... Oh, okay, yeah. Let's see if I can put it on that one back there. Yeah. I think it's good. Yeah, so you just gotta push it on there and clip it. Yeah, the cool. Yeah, it just pushes on. I figured that was easy enough. All right. Bloop. Yep, there it is. I think it's all the way on. All right. Yeah, once you push the clip through, that's it. Right? And then we, what we found to install that line on the compressor right here, we had to take the four mounting uh, rubber mounting bolts, and then the compressor would go down and come forward a little bit, so you could take off that uh, that mounting nut for the line. That made it a heck of a lot easier to hook that up. Make sure these lines are there. Yeah. Got the other side hooked up there. That was the hose that was broken I had to buy. That one was good. I just had to disconnect it off the old radiator. And then we connected it right here on the right side to the super bottom. Um, 
And I went ahead and fess up. I had to make a repair to this rubber uh, mounting point for the super bottle. It was just a little little finger joint where it holds it holds it there. And it, it had chipped, so it wasn't holding good. So we just put a rubber washer and a bigger metal washer, and it's uh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah. So and then another thing I realized we're missing, which it's hard to see um, on the uh, parts list. You know what what all connects to this and that. I mean, you may find a section for the radiator or for the front clip and stuff, but you don't see everything in between. So this is the rubber mount that goes on here, and then this bolts to the ankle catcher. So that holds the front of the um, cooler assembly. So yeah, I gotta get some of these, which is inexpensive, but that's the reason I mocked all this up so that I could figure out what I was missing and what all I needed. Um, hey, we're, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> See if we can get it. And something for it to mount up, but that goes up here on this side. Oh, yeah, these were kind of destroyed in an accident. This is a restricted part, and it kind of mounts right here, and then that, that front beam kind of connects to it. I was going to try to bend them out and fix it. I still think I can, but there's one problem down at the bottom. There's a, uh, another mounting bolt that goes right here. So this is where it broke, it ripped it off. So when that crash can broke off, it broke that mounting point off with it. So, unless I could, unless I have that piece and weld it back together, yeah, this little bracket one. But I don't think it's really structural, but I think I found them online for like 50 bucks. But I need both of them, one for that side and this side. Yeah, they're both. Both all jacked up from those crash cans and stuff. But um, yeah, that's the mounting point for the front. Uh, what do you call this thing? The, uh, the front end carrier. Yeah, carrier. And uh, it mounts to it, and then the fender also mounts like right here to one of the pieces. So we need all that too. But for right now, I think we're pretty much got it. All right. So it's the next morning. Uh, we got everything finished up as far as we could go. Need to figure up a list of my next round of parts. But uh, what I want to do is refill my coolant bottle and charge the AC system and make sure all that works. And luckily at their local Napa Auto Parts, look what I found. G48 Tesla. So it is compatible. I'm going to go ahead and fill up the coolant bottle and top that off. Um, find some little points here to show make it a little easier uh, coolant cap right here um, funnel's kind of hard to get on there what you can do is there's uh, two little connectors on either side of this you pull it down and then pull it straight out get that out the way and there you go And you can easily fill this guy up. The neck of the bottle, if you look down, normal max. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way up to there. And then of course, I gotta get the uh, coolant pumps plugged in. And then top it off. All right, that's on normal, so. 
see here. So plug these back in now that we actually have coolant. All right, I got a little drip in the bottle. Um, somewhere on this side over here. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to drain it, figure out where it's leaking from my hose or from the bottle itself. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the system back down and uh, start working on it. So, get to that little hose clip with a flathead screwdriver. Never fun if there's nothing wrong, right? Okay, that was a little bit of a job. It took me about 20 minutes to uh, disconnect a few things. Uh, I probably didn't need to necessarily disconnect this, but it gave me a little wiggle room to uh, move the coolant bottle. But I got it disconnected, I believe. I'm gonna drag it out of here. Um, let's see, get the back side. What else? Oh, there's still one more hose attached to it. Dead gummit. So many hoses. They love their clips. Seriously, now there's the damage right there where it broke this ear off. It split the bottle right there. Um, getting cooling everywhere. Well, I think this super bottle shot. How much is this thing? That's the question. Well, here we are a couple days later. Um, ended up doing some reading into the uh, Tesla procedures and whatnot. Um, apparently, when the car gets into an accident, the uh, AC will discharge uh, an amount of oil out of the unit. And if you don't know that amount of oil, the only way to properly service it and refill it would be to take the compressor and out of the car, dump the oil out, and then refill it with the appropriate amount, vacuum down the system, and then recharge the uh, refrigerant. So I have removed the <laughs> AC compressor, which it really wasn't that hard. The biggest issue was unplugging the high voltage down there. Um, that was hard to get to. And I'll show you the AC compressor. So here's the AC compressor out the car. Um, the uh, plastic shroud, and then the mounting bolts mount here to these, uh, I think three points there. And then there's a high voltage plug. The cable is mounted in a couple places on the firewall. And then high voltage plug right there. This thing was a bear to get loose. It's like a sequence you got to go through to push the little pin. It pulled a little tab out, push a pin, it'll move out a little bit. Then you got to push another pin, and then it'll finally come loose. <laughs> But uh, for right now, I just got some little plugs in there to uh, keep moisture and debris out of the compressor until I <clears throat> refilled all there. And uh, yeah, I'm wa actually waiting because my parts for the uh, to finish the car off is coming soon. I'm waiting on the uh, them to tell me to come pick them up, and then I got to pick up the oil and the proper refrigerant to refill the AC system with also. So update coming soon. But for now, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.